Hello. So, friends that I didn't know before, and now I do. Shot. Shot? I think so, let me check. I'm on full on wide. Yes, perfectly. Am I in shot? Yeah. Oh, We're all, all four of us are perfectly in shot. Oh, are you? Just talk amongst yourselves. Oh, I'm. I'm uh, Go on, carry on. I'm only going to ask a few something. Let me just check that then. Any reason you come to the lake? Hang out with me. So amazing. <laughs> it's true for me too. I don't know about the rest of For me, that's the rest of it. Come to to have these truth bombs. Yeah. Right, you ready? Here yeah, we go, we're then. ready, we're ready. Hello, guys. Today joining us is we have Aviv, Jason and Vicky, who are very good friends of mine and come to the lake. They've been coming to the lake for quite some time now. So I'm going to ask some questions so that they can give you an idea that it's not just me who's completely mad. So, what made you come to here and why? did you start coming here and why do you still put yourselves through coming here during these months particularly when it's very very cold Vicky um okay I started coming someone at work was talking about how they were going cold water swimming and I thought they were completely mental um and they started talking about how it helped them with anxieties and all different sorts of like mental health issues um and I, at the time I was going through quite a bit and thought no no this isn't that crazy and that I should give it a go and um, so I just thought um, I'm allowed to swear mm. <laughs> I, just thought, I, just thought to swear. I just thought fuck it I'm going to give it a go and I did and then I gave it another go and then another go and then just kind of like you just keep coming back and coming back it's one of those things that just once you've done it once it's just you can't even put into words how it makes you feel like the, the 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 feeling that you have when you get out of the water is just it's immense and um yeah it just, just does something it just does something to your brain and it just makes you want to keep coming back for more and i just noticed over time that mentally i, I was just um there was a shift in my brain something happened i started to feel more level i started to um just feel more focused and just yeah more motivated and calmer and just all of these things over time gradual um, and now if I don't do it for a certain period of time I really notice that I'm starting to feel a bit tense and a bit wound up mm. and um, and I know that it doesn't matter what the weather is if I feel like that and I come and I just jump in here it just all goes immediately. Now, Jason you you were quite standoffish and now you're in longer than anybody else because for a on. while you were quite stand <laughs> yeah he'd st stand on the bank and watch his wife swimming i'll tell you why because i think the thought of getting in a dirty lake is, is, <laughs> would be like the last thing you think of doing yeah especially at the moment with all the beer cans and the bottles and everything else uh, but, but for me to echo what uh, Vic said it's it's i think whatever you're feeling even if it's excitement or, or anxiety or depression if you go in it just washes it all out of you so you can yeah. you can come out refreshed mm. so even if you've got loads of stuff going on in your life you still have to deal with it but um actually you don't go into it with a pre-loaded feeling of stress or what was it, anxiety and uh like a lot of exercise you do you think god i don't want to do it or if you want to go for a run you kind of put off going for a run but coming to the lake i never ever think about i don't want to do it mm. i always think can't wait to get there. I never think this is a of this routine. Mm. There might be a moment where I'm stood on the edge thinking it's fucking freezing, I don't want to get in today. But that lasts about a second. Yeah. <laughs> and you make yourself do it and then you're really glad you did. Yeah, definitely. What well, are you, Avi? Did have you have you found that do you know there's that you know everybody because this is what I've been doing my best to explain and get across I've been with my phone in the water and everything to really try and get it across as best I can to to the viewers that you know there's that time where you're really really 
you, you really, really want to get in the lake and you're, you're preparing yourself at home or whatever and there's that time where you're coming here and then it's just when you get here, that time, oh, there goes somebody now, but um, there's that time when you get here, um, just when you've got undressed, and you said it earlier, I'm reluctant now, I'm, I'm a little bit sort of, it's that time where you just don't want to get in, there's that moment where, there's just a moment where you're like, ooh, I'm not sure, do you get that still? All the time. Do you? All the time, especially no, actually, in the winter, in the summer, it's the same time. Yeah. I like the fact that you make that I have to make myself do it. It's not something that is just easy, mm. and they uh, have to be hard. And I enjoy that. The harder it is, I kind of feel there more uh, satisfaction out of it uh, when when I do it when it's hard, when it, like in the winter when it's really really cold. And because uh, you come from quite, forgive me for saying so, but you you're not uh, you weren't born in this country as you might be able to tell from the accent so you you come from quite a hot place so for you it must be noticeably different more so yeah but the impact is bigger mm. I think. Well, well, well. you get more out of it yeah I think so I mean the buzz I get from the cold water is just incredible and it's been like that and it still is from the first time I got it maybe it's less uh, I, I notice it less but uh, I get like a mood stability over a long period of time with this kind of cold water and exposure so for me just keep doing it on a regular basis and keep doing it because it's hard and and when I don't feel like doing it actually go and do it then is actually the, the, the big benefit cool do you notice the difference because that's that's our own I mean you're speaking for me as well all three of you very much so for our own personal benefits but what about meeting people down here what what's the difference from like meeting people generally what's the difference in meeting people down here with you? I don't know it's just different it's different um when we when we come down here, it's like I mean we we we've got our own little like lake fam thing going on, haven't we? But um, I don't know. I don't know. It's um, it's not like all just sitting around in a pub talking shy because you're a bit pissed. It's completely different to that. Um, I feel like that we um, are more open and we share more, and mm. it feels like proper, genuine um, kind of conversations that we have and stuff like that. Mm. We can talk about a whole bunch of stuff sat around this fire, and everyone's got everyone's got something that's going on in their life, haven't yeah. they? I think that's what we've all got in common, mm. and I think uh, that's probably what we're all into as we draw to the lake to deal with our own crap that's going on. Mm. Well uh, and I think that's what's bonded <laughs> us all together. Definitely, definitely. You think so? Yeah, it has, yeah. Um, yeah, I guess so. You don't have any crap going on, do you? You're, you're, like, <laughs> no. you're a very sorted man, I know. Yeah. I guess so. I think there is something right. about uh, uh, doing it that fits people that are looking for something in particular yeah. in their life. Uh, they're looking for something healthy, they're looking for something... Uh, to be good for themselves in a in a way that is a is a is a common and mm. shared between them. So you kind of find people in your in your same. But yeah, and it's a leveler as well, <laughs> especially in the winter. Yeah. yeah, everybody gets in. It's cold for everybody. It doesn't matter. There's nobody. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter what like. car you drive to get here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so it's true. The same. And I like that. And you're meeting all sorts of people that come here. Yeah. And they all get their clothes off and they're freezing to death. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's quite funny, actually. Yeah. But we're so lucky to have this place. And it's, it's like paradise. It's so beautiful, I know. It is. Literally half a mile from the main road and you, you could be hundreds of miles away. Yeah, absolutely. It is That's... quite addictive, though. It is quite addictive. And I think, like... When we first used to start coming, just getting in was enough. Mm. Now, 
I've got to run and jump in. I've got to like, I can't just get in because that just doesn't give me the same hit anymore. I've literally got to run and jump and yeah. submerge myself, like that, get that shock. Um, like if we're getting off the bridge, and you get the bridge, you know, as you, you wade know, in, you wade in, mm. it d- doesn't give me the same feeling. No. I've got to literally like come here and jump. I've been explaining that actually in the previous videos to the, these guys and just saying how that it's really important when you're starting out, if you're of a certain age, I think, or you've got health issues or what have you, that you do just gently do it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But I think when you've been doing it for as long as we have, you, you're so much more used to it. You can you can do that. You can just jump in. I'm so glad you're doing that now as well. But since yeah, no, COVID and everything. So, yeah, that mm. was it. It was like after COVID, it was like I needed something else to get me back in the water, mm-hmm. and and it was that jumping in definitely gave me the uh, kind of ins- it, it, it gave me that kick again. I kind of felt like it had leveled out a little bit, and I needed. Do you do that in in January though? That's a good question. We'll find out, won't we? We'll find out. We'll find out. We'll find out. (laughs) Guys, thank you so much for that. It's really, really helped, and hopefully, it's helped you too. See you later. Bye bye. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe because it helps me help you.